Oh yeah, baby. We are Bring it. recording. Let's go live. It is. Can you talk real quick? Let me check your levels. Hello, hello. It is. Zapata. Should be good. It is October 12th. The ALCS is about to get underway. That is the American League Championship Series. The New York Yankees are facing off in Houston against the Houston Astros. We are excited, energized, a little bit nervous, but mostly ready to fucking get going. My name's John Boy. I got my co-host Jake here. Jake, how you doing? Good, James. It's here. It's here. <laughs> it's, uh, Finally. Let's go. I had, a, had a weird moment right before we started where I was like, damn, this has kind of been the game that we've been looking for all season. Like, we we you'd, we never fully assumed the World Series, and even when we did, we didn't really know who would be there. You kind of thought Dodgers, but Yankees, Astros, ALCS, this is, <laughs> this is what everyone's looked for. Collision course. This is what people have oh been waiting God. for. Yeah, two things colliding, meteors. Missed Earth, though. Are you not coming out of that mic? I feel like that should have been louder. Oh, this is very gentle tap. Good hands. Got to have good hands today. Game gentle one. of you. All right. We are on the main channel today, John Boy Media YouTube. So if you are not familiar with the pregame shows, you don't know what this is. We do these before every game during the regular season. We've done them all throughout the postseason. They're usually on our Talking Yanks uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to put it in the chat right here. Everyone, go subscribe to that channel if you're a Yankees fan. If you're interested in the pregame shows, the rest of this series will be on that channel. But we like starting it off. We also, if you don't want to tie up your screen and watch Jake's ugly face and my ugly face, you can get it on the on any podcast app. It's its own show, Talking Yanks pregame show. We got a one nothing lead in this game, Jake. Wayno just gave Enough up. Enough of the goddamn pleasantries. Okay. Let's get into it. Yankees versus Astros. Granky versus Tanaka. Who speaks more English, Tanaka or Granky? Ooh, that's a good question. Easily Tanaka. Yeah, I think if you go by press conference, I think Tanaka says more words in English than Granky. In the past, in the past five years, Masiro Tanaka has spoken more English than Granky. Good job. In a total curveball, I think Granky's speaking more Japanese than Tanaka. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He seems like he'd be super into sumo. Grinky feels like he's a guy that has, like he has a Japanese hobby. Like he's really into Japanese game shows or something. That's like his one weird quirk. Yeah. He's in deep into the sumo tournament scene. <laughs> yeah. I could see him liking that and just yeah. dropping it casually. Yeah. Like, oh, you think Yomi Yuri's going to win tonight? Springer's like, get away from me, dude. Why did we trade for you? Who are you? What? Anyway. Anyway. Are you nervous, Jake? Do we have to do this now? What, what do you want to start Ooh, with? Yeah, no, let's let's do this. I'm I'm nervous. It's not bad nervous. It's I I've been holding off an obnoxious tweet all day. That it's October twelfth, and today is the first playoff game the Yankees could lose, and it wouldn't be a surprise. Um, oh, so a shout out the twins. We're done with those. We've moved on. It's a little bit of a shot at the Twins, but it's also crazy, man. I mean, we're almost halfway through October, and we we still haven't had that, like, playoff feeling yet, like the the Nats being down late to the Dodgers or anything like that. Um, I'm feeling good. I, I believe in the lineup. I believe in the pitching for the Yankees. And if you're Houston, you're you're doing the same unless Donald doesn't look good today. Yeah. So let's go. Let's do the lineups right away. The Yankees lineup is as follows: DJ LeMay, he was leading off, playing first base. Aaron Judge in the two hole, playing right field. Glaber Torres slides up to the three hole. He was not in the three hole in the DS. Edwin Encarnacion stays at the four hole, DHing. Giancarlo Stanton is in left field, batting fifth. Gardner. 
Batting six, playing center field. He slides after Stanton to give the lefty at bat right there. Then Gary at seven. Gio Urshela is at eight, and Didi is at nine. So those two guys switched, and I think that's to separate the lefties a little bit. Or Yeah, I think it's to just separate, spread the lefties out a little bit more. Uh, Tanaka on the bump. Do you like these changes? Glaber goes up to the three-hole, replaces Gardner. They don't have the lefty there. Uh, and they swapped Urshela and Didi, right? Yeah, they, shop, they swapped Urshela and Didi, yes. It's interesting. Um, I, I'll say it. I'm not in love with it. I'm also not too mad about it. Um, I mean, we kind of liked guarding that three-hole. It was working. Saw he a lot of you, pitches. He gives you a totally different at-bat. Um, and again, you know, you can only measure that kind of stuff so much analytically. Uh, if it's the ninth inning, I, I don't know. I'm interested to see. I hope Glaber shows out and shows the world he's a great player. Um, it, it's going to be interesting in the eighth or ninth inning if we get back up to that top of the lineup and that three hole comes up, uh, will Glaber put up? And I, I think he will. He's a stud. Um, I wonder does maybe does Glaber have numbers against Osuna or something like that? I, I'm I'm curious to why now with the switch. You know what I'm saying? I think it's because Glaber played really well. He didn't look out of his element. Maybe they're they're maybe they thought you know let's see if we get like you know nervous Glaber, puppy dog Glaber, uh, at a, you know a little timid like the Twins were timid and Glaber didn't care. He was great. So I think okay, slide him up. But I did like Gardner in the three hole, giving that separate at bat. I believe he averaged like five pitches a plate appearance against the Twins, who were scared to attack the zone anyway. So maybe that's a little difference because uh, yeah. you have pitchers here that are gonna <clears throat> they're gonna attack the zone with strikes and all that. But I I don't really care. Like I'm I'm not up in arms. Yeah, it it is what it is. I I think that the only thing I'd say is like if if the Yankees lineup were to have a bad day today, people would be saying, like, why'd you why'd you mix things up? You had a good thing going. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Pizza Face, uh, a regular in the pregame show, says, watch out for sign stealing and whatnot. Don't trust anyone with a camera. I think they will be doing uh, they will be doing sequences from the jump uh, in yeah. Houston. I think Gary, with no one on, is going to be doing sequences. They all seem scared about that. <clears throat> the Astros... Have Springer leading off. Brantley is batting second, playing left field. Altuve is batting third, playing second. Bregman cleaning up. Alvarez DHing. Guriel at first. Correa at short. Tucker gets his second start of the postseason in right field, replacing the struggling Reddick. And Chirinos is behind the dish for Granky. Yeah. So yeah, you remember how right. on talking baseball or talking Yanks, I fucking forget where we talked about it. You said who's the guy in the Astros lineup that like if he beats us, it'll be like what the fuck. And now it's Tucker. If Tucker gets us for a home run or a big double or he's part of a drive, a score, a scoring rally, like I'll be like what the fuck. He doesn't have a hit in the postseason yet. I think he's zero for five. Small, tiny sample size. Um, but yeah, don't let Tucker beat you. Don't let him be the guy. Yeah, and if, if you're not familiar with Kyle Tucker, 22 years old, um, he he had, what, 72 plate appearances in, in the regular season, only 22 games. So he's uh, still pretty green to things. He is a pretty big-time uh, prospect for them. Uh, coming into this year, he was number eight by MLB, 12 by Baseball America, uh, 22 years old, January 17th, my sister's birthday, Iron wow. um, A. Squeaky chair. So, yeah, he'll he'll be interesting to see because I know um, – I, I think in theory he can provide more than Reddick. I think what we're seeing from these two teams right now is that they're, they're kind of – they're ready for this heavyweight matchup too, and it's not – they're kind of getting away from what's safe. Like, yeah, Brett Gardner batting three-hole and slapping the ball around and having good at-bats – has been pretty safe and good for the Yankees. Josh Reddick is pretty safe. You know what you're going to get in right field. Um, he's going to give you some energy, kind of a he'll, he'll give you some at bats. Not the no, results, he's, he's been if, an easy out. This. Right. If 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 Kyle Tucker's right and Glaber Torres are right, those guys are better players in their respected positions. So I guess that's what we're seeing from both these teams. Yeah, uh, I like that switch. 
Like Tucker doesn't scare me as much as Reddick, and now I don't have to root against Reddick, who's a personal friend of mine. Right. Best good friend. Yeah. So that's exciting. Uh, Tanaka on the bump, Granky on the bump. I know that you're pretty excited. It, it is, it is a two double edged sword having Granky go first. Okay, the good side for the Yankees is you get Granky game one and game five, and if the Astros had their say, if they had enough time to set up their rotation, Granky would not be the number one. He would be the number three. Yeah. So that's a win because the Rays took him five. That helps out the Yankees getting Granky number one. Now, the other edge of that sword is if you don't beat Granky, now you're down 0 1 with Verlander and Cole behind him. So, Yankees need a win tonight. It's It puts a lot of pressure on the Yankees to get this game one with Granky on the mound with the two, the two beasts behind him. Granky's had a lot of struggles in the postseason recently. I know you were all over that, tweeting it out. Yeah, his his last three postseason starts, um, to his ERA is over nine. Uh, there's one okay start. I think there's a five inning pitch, three earned run against the Dodgers in 2017. Uh, but the two starts around that, the Rays got him recently, as we know, and the Rockies got him in 2017. Before everything else, before that is 2015 and earlier, which I mean four years ago, uh, kind of is what it is. I mean, he's been in the postseason. I, I do think there's something there, and you're right with the double-edged sword. If the Yanks if the Yanks get Grinky today and they win game one, I'm going to walk away saying, you know what, uh, Yanks in five, boom, roasted. If the Yanks lose today, it's going to be like, all right, buckle up, Yanks in seven. Um, so uh, I don't know. I, I'm interested to see uh, how Grinky responds. He just had a bad start. I mean, he is – he's an elite talent pitcher, um, and – He's bouncing off off a bad start. It it's it's gonna end up being the story of this game. It feels I don't know. Maybe this is dumb. Do you feel like Granky has a middle area? Like I feel like he either shoves or he gets lit up. I I'm not picturing a five inning pitch, three earned run. What about five? Oh, you're not. That's what I was gonna throw. Five innings pitch, three earned runs. You're thinking no. You I'm think thinking they'll he's give like him step- the, you'll think they'll give him the leash to kind of get beat up. It's game one of a seven game series, so he they should give him the Kinda. leash. Kinda, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're, they don't have the bullpen to be pulling Zach Grinke in a 3-2 game in the third inning if he doesn't look right, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, 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 Grinke's going to be the story of this one. And I, I think if, if you're saying that we're being blind to Tanaka, Tanaka's stats are nothing short of amazing in the postseason. He's got 35 innings pitched, a 1-5-4 ERA, in six starts, he's never given up more than two runs uh, in a playoff game. So, uh, I mean, as a Yankee fan, you're riding high on Tanaka, um, but this Astros lineup is special. Uh, I expect what, a solo shot. A, so, a solo shot. I think it's a guarantee for the Astros. Yeah. Usually Tanaka gives up a solo shot. It's an obligatory home run. I would say, Jake, that with – the Yankees having such a rested bullpen and a game today and a game tomorrow and then an off day, I think the Yankees hope to use Chad, Ottavino, Canely, Britton, Chapman in both games. I think that's the plan. Whether it's Canely for one dude, Ottavino for another dude, if you only need four innings, or if Tanaka's in trouble in the fourth, they have no problem filling the next five innings. Like, that's not like, uh uh-oh, do we want to go to those guys? It's only the fourth inning. Uh, You go to them. They've seen Britton and Chapman split two innings, get nine outs each. So that's not like a... Tanaka's ha- Tanaka got through four, but he doesn't look great. Should we struggle and s- should we put him out for the fifth and see what happens, or do we go to the five in the pen? You go to the five in the pen. So like, there's not get through the ro- the order twice, Tanaka, and that's like the design. Going to the Yankees pen is by design. Going to the Astros pen early is not what they want to do. So I like I said this earlier. The Yankees are rooting for bullpens. Yankees are rooting for both bullpen, bullpens on both sides. And, yeah, Jim, the, the only way you don't see all those guys out of the Yankees' bullpen 
is if Tank does what he did in 2017, Game 5, it was a 5 nothing Yankees win. Uh, the Yankees let him go 7 because uh, it was a 5-run lead and he was pitching a shutout. So that would be um, that would be good. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, all right. Granke's numbers versus the Yankees. DJ LeMayu has a ton of at-bats against him. 61 plate appearances, 283 average. Uh, a lot of singles, one home run, 17 hits. Uh, 11 of them are singles. And really, DJ, if you can just slap a single to open up the game, I'd be more than happy with it. Judge has three plate appearances, no hits, but only three plate appearances. Uh, Gardner has 14 plate appearances and a 430 on base percentage. And Stanton has uh, 21 plate appearances and bad stats. That's really the only ones that like kind of matter. Uh, Stan and Stanton and DJ have popped him for a home run. There's not that much history there between the Yankees and Granke uh, besides DJ. On the other side, Tanaka has a good amount of history with his Astros team. And uh, down their order, the top four for the Astros, their four best hitters, have the best starts against Tanaka. Have the best stats against Tanaka. George Springer has the best stats against Tanaka. He's got a 976 OPS and 26 plate appearances, two home runs, a double, uh, 385 on base percentage. So Springer is going to be, you know, He's kind of going to be the pest, I think. And then you got Brantley, uh, Jose, and Bregman. They've all homered against Tanaka. And the numbers aren't, you know, fly off the page in either direction, but they're be- better than they are bad. They're good. So yeah. Tanaka yeah, versus you, that top four. I, expecting, expecting how we expect this game to go, it's, it's, I mean, it should be tight either way, whether it's solo shots or – a bloop and a blast or whatever it may be, it, it, it is going to be tough to see. Tanaka probably doesn't get a shot at Springer a third time. Um, oh, I probably. hope not. Well, yeah. like, that's what, um, that's what it, so many people it, don't know about the Yankees. Like, that's not in the plan. And Unless he's dominating and they're winning really, <laughs> really well. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah, the, I, I think the, the way you phrased it best was that the Yankees are rooting for bullpen both ways. Yeah, they want theirs out, and they want the other teams out. Use them. Yeah. So that's kind of the pitching path to victory as well. Yeah. Do you think I there's could... a guy here? Like, all right, so... so CC and Alvarez. I think that might be a thing. You don't think it's going to be... It's going to be Canely. Uh, depends what inning. Yeah, I think Canely... If they need a lefty to come get Alvarez, I think Canely... Later in the game, Canely, or Britain... Uh, yeah. Earlier in the game at DCC, that scares me a little. First time happening, but go CC. We'll see. You think uh, Ottavino's got a guy pegged like Nelson Cruz? Like this is going to be your guy, a Bregman? I mean Altuve Bregman. I, I think what they have circled, um, and it depends how good he's going to look this series. Is uh, I mean that Altuve Bregman back to back. If Ottavino um, can be sharp and throw strikes. And get those righties. That's a game changer. But he looked. I, I think today they probably give him Altuve and Bregman. Um, if he looks good, they could try potentially starting him Springer and get past Brantley to Altuve and Bregman. But I think today, I mean, those two guys back to back. Or if they're not fully confident in him, uh, Guriel Correa would be a nice way to ease in too with Tucker and Torinos behind him. Um, so yeah, there, there's a couple decent windows here and that, that was something you and I stumbled into yesterday. Adam Adovino is definitely an X factor in this series because, uh, their righties, I, I, their righties are the dudes. Al- Alvarez is really good, but, uh, Springer, Altuve, Bregman, Gurriel, Correa, um, if, if Adovino shows out, it's going to be one of the stories of this series yeah. or not. Or not. Both can be true. You want to do the homer draft? We can homer draft it. You know, you won the DS. For sure. I'm proud of you. I beat you in over-unders. So in your face. I'm proud of you. All right. Homer draft. It's the homer draft. Uh, Jake, you have the first pick. And First the only pick. reason you won last one is because I chose Glaber out of turn, and then you snagged him from me. So well, you're, you you you're, made a pick. 
is what happened. You're a snake. Um, you made a pick. Um, and a bad one. You're, so You're a slithering snake. That's are are we going to twist the rules a little bit? Because, I mean, seven-game series. Are, are we going to have to figure it out as we go? Can we pick everybody twice or something like that? I think you gotta. You can't pick someone twice until you've picked everyone. Okay. That's fine. Um, all right. Then with my first pick in the Homer draft, give me Glaber Torres. <gasps> they move the kid up. He's in the three hole. Granky. I'm taking Judge. Okay. I am taking Judge. And I am taking... I am sitting at the diner as he fills up my coffee. I'm going to take uh, Gary. Judge and Gary. Ooh, like that. Gary, the return to Houston. That's fun. I'm going to go Giancarlo Stanton. I, I think a, this, a lot of the story will be Guardy sliding down. Um, five hole Stanton, man. Uh, he's got a homer off Granky. And again, I, I've, I've been trying to paint the picture for a little bit now, but man, if Giancarlo Stanton could put together five games, he could be the ALCS MVP. He's a guy that gets forgotten, just straight forgotten on this Yankees team. Yep. All right. Good picks, Jake. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think the over under is? Or... I think it's oh. like. I think I think it's gonna be. I, I accidentally it. saw. You're such a dick. Everyone is so mad at you. I know. So I will not be guessing on the over. God damn! I'm guessing eight and a half. It's nine. Oh wow! They got no faith. Have a little faith. Two pretty good. O- two pretty good offenses. Two a good offenses, huh? My pick for the over-under is the under. I think we get a close game. Close, tight game. Oh, Jake hates Granky's going over. Oh, Jake Jake. has no faith in Granky's going over. Granky. Give me the over. Wow. Wow. So what do you think your final score is going to be? 20 to 2 or something like that? No, I I think we're looking at like a 7-3. Something like 73 that. to what? 73 to 74. Holy shit. Craziest game ever. <laughs> Ruins baseball. That would suck. That would suck. Um, I'm, I think we're going to have like a, a 5 to 2 finish. Okay. And all right. End the pregame show. Time to go get nervous as hell. Um, yeah. Gonna be a good series, man. I think I hope I hope the games are close. I'm confident the games will be close. I'm not cocky. Uh I think it's gonna take good baseball from both sides. Mistakes might do mistakes may doom you in this one. Yankees could have played the that's, twins that's, blind. It, it does sound so lame, but I, I was going through that today. Like you just you want someone to win these games and not someone to lose these games. Like that, that sounds so lame, but like... Well, I the Rays like lost two games against the Astros. I mean, not really, but that dropped pop-up early on that allowed two runs to score in the DS game one. Like, come on, Rays. And then Glass now tipping his pitches. I mean... Yes. Like, what? I mean, come on, Rays. Put together like that, a better effort. They had that two would, things that in their losses. I was like, dude, you could have you could have been better, Rays, but you just shot yourself in the foot by being dumb. So I hope yeah, the Yankees the pop don't up do that. Game, the pop-up game, I mean, they were already losing, and you can only point at it so much. It's more two, so embarrassing. 2 nothing in, like, the third or, or fourth inning. Yeah, they, were, they much, would have had a, a much better shot to win the game. And then they scored um, too late. Much, yeah. much different outcome if they don't drop that pop-up. Pop yeah. Up. Just a closer, oh, I don't more... Think the outcome's much Well, no, no, no. The game would have been much different. Game, yeah, I don't think the outcome... I'm not saying it's guaranteeing they win or, or lose, but it's a different game down the stretch. Yeah, yeah. Um, Would you drink from Tuck Everlasting if you could? What's that? Would you drink from the Tuck Everlasting if you could? No. No interest? Waiting for it to end. Wow. You want those to be your final words? Say it again. What are your last words, Jake? Best baseball series of the year, baby. Nice.
Peace.